Chapter 1419, Victory and Defeat, Bank. In the wreckage of the ruins, Naki crawled up from the rubble. He was already pounded into a nearly unrecognizable form by the Primordia skate. At this time, all of Naki's bone spikes had shattered, his arms were ruined, and the bone armor that covered his body had cracked to pieces. Even the bloodied white bones of his arms were exposed to the world, half of his wings were cut off. He was a complete mess as he dragged himself across the ground. Just his outside appearance was this horrible and his insides were even worse. His meridians had broken in countless areas. His organs, bones, and blood vessels had cracked apart everywhere. The Imperial Prince was defeated. Imperial Prince Naki is known as being invincible amongst his step in the entire Saint race. He is someone that will surely step onto the road of true divinity in the future. But he lost here to a human. The Saint martial artists that watched this battle were all dumbfounded. A deep sense of shock and disbelief came over them. This was simply too unimaginable. Here, a legend was broken and another legend had been formed. The impression that Lin Ming left on them was profoundly deep. As for the human martial artists, in particular the young elites, all of them clenched their fists together, their faces filled with excitement. They could no longer hold in their tears. Lin Ming had won. The second-ranked martial artist of the human first martial meeting had defeated the first-place champion of the same first martial meeting. At this time, at the center of the battlefield, Lin Ming was holding the primordial skate high above Naki's head. Naki looked up at Lin Ming. His hair was disheveled and he looked like a wild animal. A grim light shined in his eyes. His killing intent hadn't dimmed at all. Lin Ming sneered, still won't admit defeat? Then I'll beat you until you're convinced. As Lin Ming spoke he struck out once more, towards the geniuses of the Saint race, especially those incomparably arrogant ones like Naki that were certain to become his enemy in the future. Lin Ming wouldn't be the least bit kind at all. If this Naki wouldn't admit defeat then Lin Ming would beat him into bits and pieces. And, leaving behind some permanent damage would be the best possible result. At this time, a cold voice sounded out. Stop. Whoosh. A black line shined, shooting out like an arrow towards Lin Ming. Lin Ming was alarmed. He immediately raised the primordial escape to block this attack. With a loud explosive sound, a wild shockwave surged outwards. Lin Ming wasn't the one who had blocked this attack. Rather, the one who blocked the black light had been a grey-robed old man who was now standing in front of him. This old man had blocked the black light with a wall of true essence. Who dash? The black light disintegrated, turning into pure astral essence. Lin Ming looked at the broken black light from behind the grey-clothed old man. This black light, even if the grey-clothed old man hadn't blocked it for him, still wouldn't have taken his life. However, it would have struck him into a mess causing his blood vitality to tumble and even causing him to receive heavy wounds. Thank you senior for saving me. Lin Ming didn't know who this grey-clothed old man was. He was likely a human supreme elder that was watching the battle on Ash Blood Mountain from afar. His cultivation had reached the half-step empty ring boundary. No problem. The old man beckoned with his hand, faintly saying, To protect the young heroic elites of my race is my responsibility. I am Skyron God Lord's seventh direct disciple. Young hero Lin. It's nice meeting you. In terms of rank, Lin Ming was countless times lower than this erect disciple of Skyron God Lord. In terms of cultivation and strength, the disparity between them was also difficult to measure. This grey-clothed old man was someone who was even more honored and majestic than a great world king. He was absolutely a high-level figure of humanity. But, because of Lin Ming's talent, this grey-clothed old man didn't regard Lin Ming as a junior at all. Rather, he faintly spoke to him like a peer. At this time, the void distorted, turning fuzzy. On the same side, a man in a black cape slowly appeared. He was the one that had struck out with that bowl of astral essence just now. He hadn't intended on killing Lin Ming, only to make him suffer some troubles. Seeing this black caped man. The grey-clothed old man glowered. He coldly said, You are the one who attacked just now? The black gaped old man coldly snorted. So what if I did? My saint race's imperial prince has already been wounded to such a degree and this boy still wants to attack? Does he want to take Naki's life as well? The black gaped old man stood in sharp contention. His cultivation was completely unfathomable to Lin Ming, but he was likely no worse than the grey-clothed old man. Otherwise his aura would not be so strong. The black gaped old man's eyes blazed as he looked at Lin Ming. He didn't bother to conceal the thick killing intent in his eyes. However, after the high-level figures I finished negotiations, it was impossible for the powerful characters of the human and saint race to fight. Otherwise, in this sort of situation today, it was likely that the actions would have set off a cataclysmically bloody event. So young and yet so vicious, your strength is decent, but the reason you won against Naki is because of some foreign object that caused Naki to suffer a loss. What meaning is there to your own ability to rely on foreign objects? The black gaped old man was naturally referring to the primordial skate. In his opinion, if Lin Ming hadn't summoned the primordial skate in the end to defend against Naki's wild dash, then Lin Ming would have likely been struck by him and suffered severe wounds. But, the result was that this unknown move of Lin Ming's had caused Naki to be wounded instead. That single exchange had become the turning point in the battle. Lin Ming sneered, a loss is a loss and a win is a win. Is the mindset of the saints really so frail? Every time you win you must become increasingly arrogant but you can't accept your own losses at all? Hee hee, to think you would rather try to teach me instead. However, I can't be bothered to argue with a junior like you. You've already dug your own grave from your arrogance anyways and you only have a hundred years left to live. A hundred years from now. When you battle the good fortune saint son, you will surely die without a grave. Or maybe you won't even live until then. The black gate man cruelly smiled. He waved his arms, sending out a black light that wrapped around Naki, and Naki was received into his dwellings. Then, the black gate man's figure blurred and he vanished. For a time, the only ones left on the center of the battlefield were Lin Ming and a gray-clothed old man. 
The Saint Martial artists still remaining were extremely frustrated. It felt as if someone was pushing down on their heads. The many battles that the Saints had won before this, even when added up together, were less important than Lin Ming and Naki's battle. This was because this was a peak duel, a battle that symbolized the strongest martial artists of the Saint race and human race's juniors. And in the end, the Saints had been the ones to lose. No matter what the reason was or how it happened, this faintly proved that the juniors of the Saint race were inferior to the juniors of the human race. Moreover, there was also an extremely mysterious Frost Dream from the human side that had yet to appear. Frost Dream was the first place champion of the Divine Realm First Martial Meeting. Her strength was at least equal to Lin Ming's. As Lin Ming flew back from the battlefield, what awaited him was tens of thousands of frantic and fired up human martial artists. Nine years ago, when Lin Ming placed second in the Divine Realm First Martial Meeting and fought to a tie with Frost Dream, many people had cheered for him. However, their cheers hadn't been as heated as they were today. The First Martial Meeting was only a competition between the juniors of the human race, but this time it was a battle between the humans and the saints. This was a battle to see which younger generation of the two races was weaker. Tens of thousands of martial artists cheered. There were also many people that brought out long-distance sound transmission jade slips to send this news and vivid excitement. Many people had already used battle array discs to record the entire battle from beginning to end. Once news of this event was passed out, it was destined to not only affect the younger generation, but also have a resounding influence on the older generation of martial artists. Currently, humanity was far too eager for a complete victory. They needed to raise their confidence and boost their morale. In just a mere ten days, the news that Lin Ming had defeated Imperial Prince Naki had spread throughout the entire Divine Realm. When this news reached Atlas World and the Crimson Light World, the ones most excited were the many martial artists of the ancient Phoenix Clan. They were individuals that truly came from the same sect as Lin Ming. To be able to be considered as someone from the same sect was absolutely something to be proud of for the rest of their lives. In the future, when they accepted disciples, those disciples could even boast about this. They could boast that their teacher had been in the same sect as Lin Ming, who had defeated the number one young elite of the Saint Race. At this time, in the void of the Divine Realm, a ghostly spirit ship was flitting through space. A tall young man grasped a cup of red wine as bright as fresh blood. As he enjoyed this wonderful wine, he was watching the scenes atop a battle array disc. This was the recorded battle between Lin Ming and Naki. This tall youth was the good fortune saint's son. He smirked all the way until the fight ended and then slowly placed his wine cup down. Your Highness Holy Son, this Lin Ming is a threat. Beside the good fortune saint's son, a bewitching weed-skinned woman filled the good fortune saint's son's wine cup. A small dagger was tied to her thigh and she wore a short leather jerk and that perfectly contrasted her robust height and sex appeal. During the negotiations at Mount Potua, this woman had accompanied the good fortune saint's son. Threat? He he. If he was given a thousand years of time then he might grow into such a character. But too bad for him, he won't have such a chance. There's no need to pay attention to him. Just let him jump around in happiness for a few days. In my eyes, this is nothing more than a little feud between children. Besides having a group of useless people be excited for some time, there isn't any significance to this battle at all. I already knew that they were going to fight and I didn't care to pay attention to them at all. Otherwise I would have personally gone to take a look. The enchanting young woman was puzzled as the good fortune saint son laughed. This was a battle between the top geniuses of the saint race and human race a matter that involved the honor and glory of both races, and yet the good fortune saint son had called this a feud between children? This was a bit too much. After all, Lin Ming and Naki were likely to grow into true divinities in the future. As for this battle, it might be related to their future growth. For whoever won, it would greatly benefit their confidence and destiny. The good fortune saint son chuckled, their future potential is endless, but what a pity, the war between the humans and the saints will not wait for them to grow. There is no need to bother with them and I also don't have any time to spare them. What will erupt in the future is a holy war that involves the prosperity and decline of my saint race and the human race. How could this event be affected by a little battle between divine transformation and saint transformation children? Come, we are going to the monster race, monster race. The enchanting woman was startled. Which monster race? In the woman's eyes, there were two different monster races. One was the monster race in the human's divine realm, and the other monster race was the one in the saint race's saint convocation heaven. The good fortune saint son licked his lips, laughing as he said, Of course it's the divine realm's monster race, according to what I know. Within the divine realm, the relations between the monsters and the humans aren't good at all. He he, isn't the enemy of my enemy my friend? As the future saint sovereign, what I must pay attention to is the situation during the start of our holy war, not a little spat between two juniors. The good fortune saint son waved his arms at the battle array disc spinning on a table. This sort of thing is just interesting to see, even at the worst there is no need to panic. Do you understand? The good fortune saint son's voice carried with it the aura of a superior being. The enchanting woman stiffened for a moment. Then, she slowly nodded and said, Yes. Your Highness Saint Son, I understand. 